Hi YouTube, um, Gamerino84 here, just showing you a quick tip I learned with messing around with NetBeans for uh, running Java applications. Basically, uh, all I did right here is I created a public static string, named it test, and let's write a quick if statement. Let's say uh, test, oops, test equals null. Curlies. All right. Now let's say you wanted to put a try catch on that. You can do this by simply highlighting from the bottom curly bracket all the way to the beginning of the statement. And what you see, the light bulb right here says surround with. Basically, when you uh, left click it, you have all these options to add to it. You can add for loops, while loops, you know, another if statement. Uh, you can even right here we'll add the uh, try catch. And there you go. It's just it's a nifty little trick and it can save some time when writing code. Let's say if you want to throw like a let's say we want to throw a for loop on the if statement within the try catch, you can also do that as well. It's a nifty little trick and it, typically though sometimes you're gonna to have to change variables and all that and maybe the way it's set up but nonetheless it's a quick way to generate a quick statement just uh... I use it a lot for try catch, try catch statements basically just because you can just throw them on there especially for like null exceptions and uh, uh, array out of bounds exceptions and basically catch as many errors you can by you know just slapping those on you can just do it with a whole huge statement without having to right try and then have to go to try to find the right place to put the bottom curly bracket you know sniffy little thing well I hope you enjoyed the video and good luck uh, writing any other further applications